YouTube. What up? What up? Coming back to, uh, with another random rambles of Philip Wilkerson. I'm in the car with my man Sam Nang. What's up, guys? We have a big celebration. This is my 10th episode of anyone that's following. What are we doing today, Sam Nang? Today we're going to the Redskins game. My boy Philip Wilkerson hooked me up with some tickets, brought me along. Yeah. So, I think that since me and Sam Nang are probably the most uh, random people spreading positivity, and we're doing a random ramble. I thought we, today we'll talk a little bit about uh, what I like to think of as a, a, a benefit of what me and Sam Nang uh, like to think about of our friendship is diversity amongst friends. So, if you didn't know, I spread out these Ill Phil Awards, and right here, my man is a Ill Phil Award winner in my top five Asian friend of all time. Though he's Mexican, <laughs> yeah, with, his, with his mustache. But I'm saying that as I don't go out seeking friends of different cultures just so I can mark them off as top five. I just appreciate that my friend group, especially in this area, is diverse. And some of the benefits of having diverse friends is that Sam Nang has welcomed me into his family. He's exposed me to different Cambodian traditions and cultures, really good food, yeah, right? Yeah, really good yeah, food. Some good food. Good yeah, food. And, and things like that. And I, so me having a diverse group of friends, I get to see the world from a different lens. Um, and obviously I think Sam Nang has been able to see a world from a different lens than in my friends. Yeah, absolutely. I have the same amount, you know, different diverse friends also too. So uh, I get a lot of different philosophies, different views. That's what I like uh, to be a little bit more diverse also too. Yeah. And so, I mean, going along with that, um, <clears throat> I think it builds into our personal philosophy as that um, it's easy to judge and and think of people in a boxed area if you do not have friends that do not look like you or practice the same religion as you or same sexual orientation as you. But when you have diverse group of friends, you're able to empathize more with different people, uh, see what struggles they've been, for, been through. Um, I think one of the most powerful things that Sam Ning's ever told me was that about his family coming to the United States and the struggles they had when they first got here. I wouldn't have known that uh, about the the struggle of Cambodians coming to America if it wasn't for my friend Sam Nick. So obviously we're going to the game, we're gonna have a good time, we're gonna celebrate this 10th episode. Tenth. Hopefully with this 10th episode we get a victory against the, uh, the Vikings. Um, I got some people we're gonna see at the game. Maybe I can get all some of these ill fill awards. Uh, you know, maybe JL's there. Shout out to JL if I don't see you. Shout out to JL. Re regardless, JL, you'll get an ill fill award. I'll probably have to mail this out to you. Um, <laughs> but hopefully, you know, spread that positivity. That's a big thing that both of us preach. Uh, keep a lookout. Uh, not only is Sam Nang a, a CrossFit coach, uh, uh, a manager of an apartment complex, and a photographer. So this man is a jack of all trades. So keep a lookout. Put in the comments uh, his uh, his photographer business. Don't forget about my cooking channel. And his cooking channel on YouTube. So he also is a YouTube person. <laughs> and uh, keep a lookout. I'm coming uh, next year in January with a uh, podcast. Hopefully we'll have you know once I get the ball rolling, I can have some guests like Sam Nang talking and things like that. So keep a lookout for that. I'll be that in the comments. Httr. Hopefully we get this victory. Holla. Holla.